up guys Baker here um, today I have a little tutorial on uh, fixing camera tracks and I just want to talk a little bit about um, 3d camera and after effects and uh, motion tracking and stuff so this doesn't apply to cinema 4d um, like I've seen way too many motion tracks that are you know floating underground and it's like tilted weird and stuff and yeah it doesn't look good so pretend we're in After Effects here and uh, here we are so you can use this with Buju you can use this with uh, the built-in camera tracker and I from what I've seen you can't really do any scene geometry to really set up you know what's left down up and right so if you kinda look at the example here we have some you know 3D text with a 2D layer but if I want to move it, let's say uh, in Z space, it goes this way, and it's not really what I want to be uh, forward, and then left and right is that way, and you can see how it's not perfectly straight up or anything. Um, so I'll tell you how to fix the uh, angles of the camera and um, the scaling issues and uh, origin issues and stuff. So you can really like think of Buju and then just totally skipping the um, scene geometry, just solving it and exporting it right away. And you can fix it like this. So what I like to do is just make a, a quick 3D solid. We'll call this grid, a little helper layer. We'll search up grid and uh, apply that. Turn the layer into 3D and rotate the grid 90 on the X. Now what this represents is, well let's also push P for position, set this all to 0, 0, 0 because I know my origin is somewhere around here. So we have this uh, somewhat flat plane, maybe scale it down 50% so you can kind of see it. Not really anymore, but we're going to fix that. So um, what I want to do is make a new 3D null object, 3D take your camera and any 3D nulls that you exported from Buju or any 3D nulls that you've created with the built-in camera tracker take any of those parent it to your new null object and if you want we can rename this to uh, controller or fixer or whatever you want so I'm gonna push R for rotation and what I want is this grid let me actually scale it back up to uh, try to rotate it to make it flat so maybe mess with uh, this. So something around there looks okay. So almost, maybe not so much negative eight. Okay. Now it's not really uh, facing the camera, so I can rotate it this way, and then try to fix the rotation. You know, a lot of trial and error stuff. And from right now, that looks pretty much like flat with the uh, the roof. So what I'm going to do now is I want this text to be at the origin so I'll go 0 0 0 and uh, it's over here so I'm gonna take the controller push P and actually just move it left and right up and down to make it the new origin so that looks pretty good so kinda mess with the rotation and the position to make your grid look flat so it looks uh, pretty good maybe rotate it um, uh, negative seven. There we go. That looks pretty flat right there. So now, once you have that all, uh, the orientation uh, normalized, you can go ahead and delete the controller and delete the grid. Now, if we take a look at our text, we can move it straight back, straight, uh, you know, left and right. The uh, rotation on the text should be you know perfectly uh, reset that up and down looks pretty good like that so um, if you have any awkward camera tracks and the orientation is all weird you can fix it like that I also want to talk about uh, near the end I get uh, some bad camera solving because just of the things you need to mask out in Buju because they're moving objects and uh, it's moving too fast so what we can do is before you alter your camera make sure to duplicate it call one of them your backup and turn it off so we're gonna go into here push U, and we're gonna take a look at these keyframes and try to smooth it out and uh, 
things like that. So we can go ahead and start with the rotation. Click on your graph editor, and you can see here we have a uh, you know no rotation, and it kind of goes up, looks okay. And let's zoom in over here. This is the bad track part, so doesn't look too abnormal. Looks relatively smooth. Let's check our Y rotation. Uh, a little bit worse. Um, I can try to maybe change this one. Ooh. So you got to be real careful on the. Uh, Oh, wrong way. So just kind of make it smooth out a little bit if you need to. Z rotation. Okay, so this guy is going kind of crazy. Maybe I can uh, take this last one and put it down so it's uh, a little bit more like a curve. Take this one. Probably needs to be a little bit uh, lower. That's maybe a little bit more. So a little bit better curve. But what's really happening here is the uh, position. So if you look at the position, the thing that kind of sucks here is it's based off of uh, speed. So the speed is uh, you know relatively smooth, but over here it jumps really far. So how do you fix the position if you know the speed? Well, you can't. You just kind of have to guess. Unless you're using, I believe, CS3 or higher, right-click on position, separate dimensions. So now you can look at X, Y, and Z individually and see which one's the problem. So we look at X, and it looks, uh, it looks okay here, but this uh, last keyframe is out of control. So let's go ahead and just alter that, bring that up closer, and kind of fix these uh, handlebars over here, little curves. Maybe like that, smooth it out, still not uh, high enough, there we go looking a little better. I mean the whole actually this whole thing is kind of gross. So you know just kind of put this one down here. The uh, next one probably put this one down here. So you want to try to make all of them kind of in line with each other because I know this camera in the game is not that jumpy. It's, uh, it's pretty smooth. He's jumping in the air and I know uh, how it should look like. So I'm going to leave it uh, like that for now. Y position, um, this last one right here jumps like crazy. So let's kind of fix that. Bring this up higher so they get all close together pretty much. And uh, maybe fix the handlebars a little bit. All the better. Z position. And that's uh, way too crazy again. So let's fix that. So you guys kind of get the idea, right? Since, um, what was I going to say? I don't know. I just want to let you know that you can fix your bad camera tracks by altering a few of the keyframes. Hmm, that doesn't look right. That looks like, what is going on? I don't want to play. Go to the end here. Okay, let's go to this last keyframe and bring it down over here. This keyframe needs to be a bit smoother. Fix the handlebars, and that looks a little bit, a little bit smoother. Nope, not really. This needs to go down more right there. This one needs to go right about there. This is probably kind of boring for you by now, but just get the idea that these keyframes need to be relatively smooth, and you can alter all of these by, you know, just changing them. So this probably looks a little bit better at the end. Not perfect, but you can see the text isn't, uh, you know, shooting, cra going crazy so much, but, um, yeah, I'll probably smooth that out later. Actually, you know what? You can just delete several keyframes. Take this end one, put it where you think it should be. Probably, oh, not that keyframe. This end one, put it where you, th oh my goodness. Do I have to go over there? Okay. Put it where you think it should be up here. Fix the handles. I'll delete that one. And uh, fix this handle probably looks a lot better. So, okay, there you go. 
So see all these little squigglies? Just go ahead and delete all these. Take this last one. The last one probably needs to be fixed. So I'll probably move it uh, down in line with these. Line it up. There we go. Looks a lot better. Look at that text. Okay. So I know that was boring at the end. Um, kind of lost my train of thought and stuff. But here's a quick recap. If your orientation is off, create a 3D null object with a 3D grid and rotate it to make it flat like the floor. Mess with the rotation of the null object after you parented the other nulls and the camera until you get it uh, nice and flat. And you can also um, position the null object around to make your origin a little bit nicer. And individual keyframes of the camera solve if there's any shakiness or there's any abnormalities, go ahead and smooth out the curve either frame by frame or what I just figured out at the end by deleting the uh, intermediate keyframes like this and just fixing the last part of the curve. Something like that. Very nice. So that should be about it. Um, I apologize for the uh, slowness and the boringness but this is extremely helpful and I hope it makes your motion tracks look a lot better so if you have any examples uh, that you do go ahead and post a video response leave a like comment favorite check me out on Facebook Twitter any of that good stuff alright that is it peace